This truly is a martyr who shed his blood for the name of Christ, who did not fear the threats of judges, but attained the heavenly kingdom. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Today, Holy Mother Church celebrates the feast day of Blessed Miguel Augustin Pro. By the help of his prayers, may we be given a true spirit of penitence and sorrow for our sins. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Our God and Father, who conferred upon your servant, blessed Miguel Augustine Pro the grace of ardently seeking your greater glory and the salvation of others. Grant through his intercession and example that by faithfully and joyfully performing our daily duties and effectively assisting those around us, we may serve you with zeal and ever seek your glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. John looked, and there was the Lamb standing on Mount Zion, and with him a hundred and forty-four thousand, who had his name and his father's name written on their foreheads. I heard a sound from heaven, like the sound of rushing water or a loud peal of thunder. The sound I heard was like that of harpists playing their harps. They were singing what seemed to be a new hymn before the throne before the four living creatures and the elders. No one could learn this hymn except the 144,000 who had been ransomed from the earth. These are the ones who follow the Lamb wherever he goes. They have been ransomed as the first fruits of the human race for God and the Lamb. On their lips no deceit has been found. They are unblemished. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. The Lord's are the earth and its fullness, the world and those who dwell in it. For he founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Who can ascend the mountain of the Lord, or who may stand in this holy place? He whose hands are sinless, whose heart is clean, who desires not what is vain. Lord, Lord this is the people that longs to see your face. He shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a reward from God his Savior. Such is the race that seeks for him, that seeks the face of the God of Jacob. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus looked up, he saw some wealthy people putting their offerings into the treasury, and he noticed a poor widow putting in two small coins. He said, I tell you truly, this poor widow put in more than all the rest. For those others have made all have all made offerings from their surplus wealth, but she, from her poverty, has offered her whole livelihood. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today the church celebrates a uh, one of the uh, saints that uh, gave their lives, one of the saints and martyrs, during a very difficult time in the history of Mexico, a uh, time called the Cristero War. The Cristero War occurred during the 1920s, uh, during the face of the great persecution that the Catholics of Mexico were suffering, that they were undergoing. The 1917 uh, Constitution of Mexico actually provided for a great deal of uh, very harsh uh, very anti-Catholic measures. It uh, called for uh, very, very uh, strict uh, uh, regulations of the church. And because of that constitution, uh, a great number of religious uh, priests, nuns, brothers and sisters were persecuted uh, very terribly. Uh, the Catholics, the laymen and women, had their village churches uh, shut down, boarded up, and closed. And they suffered a great deal under their own government. And so the, these events uh, resulted in sort of a civil war uh, a rebellion erupting uh, within certain provinces of Mexico and uh, what has become known as the Cristero War. Some of you might have seen these events depicted in the film For Greater Glory. The saint that we honor today, or rather the blessed, Blessed Miguel Augustin Pro, was a Jesuit priest and a, a Mexican native who gave his life as a martyr. He gave his life ultimately in imitation of Christ himself. And he wanted to make sure that his entire life uh, was very much dedicated to doing what Christ did. Christ, of course, went about uh, doing good works. He went about healing and bringing hope and uh, comfort to all those who were suffering. And Miguel Augustin Pro, as well as a priest, brought comfort and hope to his uh, flock, his congregation, that, was uh, that were suffering in Mexico uh, at the hands of their own government. Miguel Augustin Pro was born in 1891, and uh, from a young age, he uh, did have suffer from a number of health problems and a number of health issues, uh, although he was always said to have a very good sense of humor, a good sense of, uh, a good wit, uh, always sort of cheerful, but he was also very serious in his prayer life. He was very devout, very pious, and very much focused on serving God as best as he could. He made the decision to enter the order of the Jesuits, the Society of Jesus, but because of the uh, anti-Catholic laws in Mexico at the time, he was forced to uh, stop his studies in Mexico and flee to the United States. He went to California for a period uh, for his studies with the Jesuits. He then later traveled out to Spain and uh, as well uh, as uh, doing some higher studies in, uh, in the Netherlands, uh, in Belgium, and then later teaching in Nicaragua. But eventually, uh, Miguel Augustin Pro, uh, when he was uh, ordained as a priest, he returned to Mexico. He returned to his native home to minister to his uh, brothers and sisters, his fellow Catholics, who were suffering a great deal, uh, again, at the hands of their own government. Ultimately, uh, Augustin, uh, Miguel Augustin Pro was arrested under uh, false charges. He was arrested and accused of trying to assassinate the former uh, president of Mexico. Uh, he was uh, condemned very quickly, there was no trial, there was no uh, chance to really mount any sort of defense, and he himself was condemned to death. On the morning of his execution, it was said, though, that he, uh, as he approached the area where he, would, where he was going to be uh, executed by firing squad, he blessed the troops who were there, he uh, forgave them, and he knelt and prayed for a while before uh, finally uh, the soldiers, uh, before he was forced to stand, uh, and to uh, face uh, his execution. But he did it with great composure, with great courage, and with great zeal. He uh, cried out uh, uh, as he was being prepared for execution. He put his arms uh, out in the form of a cross, 
really an imitation of our Lord Jesus Christ. And uh, the last words out of his mouth were, Long live Christ the King. Viva Cristo Rey. So Miguel of Weston Pro really stands as a great uh, example of courage and, uh, and zeal because he was not afraid to give his life in uh, imitation of Christ. But he also did a, a very uh, beautiful thing in that he knew that his own uh, fellow Mexicans were suffering a great deal. So he was not afraid to come and minister to them as a priest, to uh, come and offer Mass in secret, to hear confessions in secret, to offer the sacraments so that the people of Mexico would be comforted in this very dark hour. So today the church rightly honors uh, Blessed Miguel de Dawson Pro, as well as she honors the example and courage of the martyrs. We especially honor the martyrs, not, be, not just because they were courageous enough to shed their uh, blood for Christ, but because they ultimately gave their lives in service of charity. They were not afraid to, uh, to help their brothers and sisters who were in need, and ultimately, that charity also informed them as they were going to their deaths. You know, the martyrs, uh, the ne we never have any records of the martyrs as they were going to their death and execution, uh, cursing or screaming at those who were about to uh, take their life. We don't have any uh, records of the martyrs sort of, uh, uh, you know, yelling, saying, oh, wait till God gets a hold of you who are about to execute me. No, those, the martyrs prayed for their persecutors. They forgave them. They showed a Christ-like uh, model uh, of, of great virtue. So that's the reason that we celebrate them and honor them, and we pray for their intercession this day. So today we pray and ask Blessed Miguel Augustine Pro that he would uh, intercede for us and for all the nations of the world, most especially those parts of the world where the Catholic faith is still under persecution. We pray for all those who continue to work for an end to this pandemic, doctors, nurses, researchers, all those who work to develop vaccines and medicines, that they will uh, truly receive the grace and uh, inspiration of God to bring an end to this pandemic. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who will be uh, gathering during this Thanksgiving, uh, who will be gathering this week to celebrate Thanksgiving. We pray that they will be safe, that they will make sure that they will do all the things that uh, we are being asked to stay safe, that they will be able to celebrate with family and friends, but still be able to, uh, as well, be safe and uh, keeping one another safe as well. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all of our own family members and friends who have died, and we especially remember the souls of the faithful in purgatory. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And at this time, we offer to God in the silence of our hearts, our own prayers, and our petitions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And today, at this Mass, we especially pray for, and we remember, Millie Van Thaw for whom this holy sacrifice of the Mass is offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May these prayers find favor in your sight, Lord God, Heavenly Father, for they are offered in the name of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. For to the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Most merciful God, pour out your blessing upon these offerings and confirm us in the faith that blessed Miguel Augustine Pro professed by the shedding of his own blood through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the blood of your blessed martyr, blessed Miguel Augustine Pro, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord, Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim, by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, Grant that we, who were nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit, in Christ. 
May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with blessed Miguel Augustin Pro, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Francis, our Pope, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you with their passing from this life. Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed of hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
I am the true vine, and you are the branches, says the Lord. Whoever remains in me, and I in him, bears fruit in plenty. Let us pray. Made new by these sacred mysteries, we pray, O Lord, that imitating the wondrous constancy of blessed Miguel Augustin Pro, we may merit an eternal reward for suffering endured through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Amen.